Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. First, we're going to crack these lug nuts free. I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Just loosen them up. Then we're going to raise and support the vehicle. Take the lug nuts off. I'll just use the socket. We'll take the tire off. Now there's two screws that hold this rotor on. We're gonna take those off. And try to use just a regular screwdriver. Yep. If they're loose enough. If not, you'll have to use an impact screwdriver. Yep, these came right off. Now we're going to take the caliper off. We're going to use a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet. The pin is spinning, so I'm going to have to get a wrench. It's a 19 millimeter socket. I mean, 19 millimeter wrench will fit on that. That'll hold the pin from spinning. Once that's broken free, then we can take that off there. We'll do the top one as well. Oops. Use the wrench to hold the pin. was pretty tight. Take that one off. We're going to take a screwdriver and just try to compress the piston a little bit. You just pry against the rotor and then Pull the caliper off. Let's 
Excuse me. I'm gonna grab a bungee cord. I'm gonna support the caliper. Just like that. And then we can set it to the side. So that'll keep the strain off of the um, brake hose. Now we'll take the pads out. We can take a screwdriver and get in behind here. Pull that pad off. And pull this pad off as well. Now we'll take these two caliper bracket bolts off. I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. I'll take these off. I'm using the breaker bar just to break them loose. Then you can use a ratchet and take them off. I'm not going to take that bolt out all the way. I'm going to start taking the upper bolt out so that the bracket will stay in. Makes it easier for removing both of the bolts. All right, once they're loose enough, then I can do it by hand. Take those out, pull the bracket straight off the rotor, set it aside. Now our rotor is loose, um, but if it was pretty tight on here, you could take a hammer and tap it in these locations. Pull that off. This is our old rotor and pads. This is our new rotor and pads from 1aauto.com. As you can see, the, the shape of the pads are the same. The tabs are the same. The squealer is on the same side. The rotors compare the rotors, the height of the rotor is the same, the fins of the rotor, the actual size of the rotor is the same. Get yours at 1aauto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Right, we're going to clean up the caliper bracket. We'll take a wire brush, just clean this area here with the pad slides on here. like that. You can also take the pad slides off. Just use a little uh, flathead screwdriver. Pry in under here. This is what holds the pad slides on. Just like that. Okay. Get some of the rust out from under here. Just 
check the bottom of here. If there's any rust on here, we'll just scrape some of it off. Can we install these? Push those back on. We'll do the same for this side. Just use our screwdriver again. Pry up under here. Get some of the rust right here. Backside, there's not too much rust on here, just a little bit. Push them back on. Make sure they're pushed down all the way. Now we can take the caliper slide pins out, like this. Just wipe them off. Use a little bit of brake parts cleaner. Clean these off. Take some of the brake parts cleaner and spray it in the hole, the caliper bracket. We can take a screwdriver and wrap a rag around it. We can send it in there. Get some of the some of the brake parts cleaner out, and clean some of the grease out, just like that. Then we'll take the caliper pin and put a little caliper grease on it. Just like that. Push it back in. I'm gonna make sure this boot gets sealed back to the pin. And we'll do the same for this side. Pull this one out. A little brake parts cleaner, wipe it off. Spray a little in the hole. Take the rag, and clean some of that out. Caliper grease. Put some grease on the pin and reinstall the pin. And then make sure that boot is sealed. Right, we're going to clean up the hub assembly. You want to get a wire brush and clean up all around here. This one doesn't look too bad. Normally, if there's more rust on it, then uh, you'd want to spend some time and get it good and clean. But this one's just a little bit of surface and that's it. So that looks good. We'll take our rotor, we're gonna put it on backwards. Then we're going to take some brake parts cleaner, wash it down, and then wipe it with a rag. There is a protective coating on the rotor that they do so that the rotor won't rust while it's on the shelf. And we'll flip it over. We're going to want to line, there's two, two holes that line up with these two holes for the screws. So we'll line those up. And we'll clean this side with the brake parts cleaner and wipe it with the rag. To make it easier to install, I'm going to install these two little screws that hold the rotor on. That'll keep the rotor from, um, from being loose while we're installing it. 
And we'll just put these on and just snug, not too tight. They're just there to hold the, hold the rotor from being loose. We're gonna install our caliper bracket. So we're just gonna slide it over the rotor, just like that. Then we'll take our caliper bolts, the caliper bracket bolts, get those started. I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter socket, tighten these down. We'll just snug those down and we'll torque them after. I'll do the same with this one. All right, once those are snug, now we can torque them. We're gonna torque these to 101 foot-pounds. So we'll use a half-inch torque wrench. Let's see. We'll use the 19 millimeter socket. Torque those down. Now we can install our brake pads. I'm going to push it in at an angle and slide it in like that. Do the same for the outside one. Slide it in at an angle. Push it in like that. Now we're going to take our brake caliper Take the bungee cord off. And we're gonna flip it over. We have to compress the caliper. Use one of the old brake pads in there. And then we have this caliper compressor, compressor tool. We sell these at 1A Auto. So you can that in there. It's made for one piston, but with the pad, that'll work for both. And then I can just loosen it up a little bit, move it to the other side, go back and forth. As we're doing this, this is sending brake fluid through the hose and back up to the master cylinder into the reservoir. And we will not have to bleed the system afterwards because we did not disconnect the hose. Just keep tightening this down so that it pushes the piston back in the caliper. Do it slowly. Just keep going back and forth. You could also use a C-clamp or um, some channel lock pliers. Just do it slowly. This tool works pretty good.
once it's hard to tighten, then uh, you know it's all the way down. Alright, I can pull that off. Those are all the way down. Now make sure the hose is not twisted. We'll slide this over the new brake pads. Take the caliper bolts. Get those both started. We'll take our 19 millimeter wrench and I'll take a 14 millimeter socket and the torque wrench. I'm going to torque these to 37 foot pounds. Just like that. Do the same for the top. Thirty seven foot pounds. Reinstall the wheel. Take the lug nuts, install the lug nuts. that on, now we can lower the vehicle. All right, we're just gonna lower the vehicle down so that the wheel is just touching the ground. And then we're gonna torque the lug nuts. We'll torque those to 80 foot pounds. We're gonna torque them in a star pattern so that it tightens the wheel down evenly. After we're done the brake job, we're going to want to pump the brake pedal. There is going to be an air gap between the caliper piston and the brake pad. So when you pump the pedal, that will um, get rid of that air gap and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. 
Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.